Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. What's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling? How's everybody? I know it's been a little bit, but hey, it is what it is. All right, so we're actually here to talk about some basketball. And if you remember what I said, I said if we ever talk about some NBA, 2K would be playing in the background. It's playing in the background. <laughs> um, I actually got the Raptors versus the Pacers going on. Which, ironically, are the, two, are the two teams we're here to talk about today. Because we got a major trade that has gone down, or is going down. As the Raptors are finally moving away from Pascal Siakam. They finally found a team that they can work with. And it was, and it is, the Indiana Pacers. From Woj himself on X. The Indiana Pacers are finalizing a trade to acquire all-star forward Pascal Siakam in a deal that sends Bruce Brown, Jordan Noir, I don't even know if I said his name right, and three first-round picks to the Toronto Raptors. New Orleans will be a third team in the deal, sending Kira Lewis to the Raptors. as well as Indiana is sending two 2024 first rounders. So two first round picks for this year's draft and a 2026 first to the Raptors. New Orleans sends a second round pick to Indiana. And then the 2024 first round picks will be Indiana's own and the worst of Utah, Houston, Clippers, and the, and the Thunder. Okay. So, they finally got off Pascal Siakam. They actually been trying to get him up, trying to trade him for about a year or so. Year, year and a half or so. And he finally got it done. To the Pacers. Hmm. Well, the Pacers didn't really give up anything crazy. All they gave up really was uh, Bruce Brown and Jordan Noir. Um... Poor Bruce. <laughs> poor, poor Bruce. They didn't pay. They ain't pay that man in Denver. He went somewhere else. And now he now he's traded to somewhere else. Interesting. So this is the second trade that the Raptors have done in the last month or so. Uh they traded OG Ananobi um to the Knicks in exchange for RJ Barrett and Emmanuel quickly. I thought I thought the Raptors probably got a better deal with that. Um, they also Raptors also gave up on Precious Achulia. But I thought the the Raptors got a better deal because they got two two guys that could probably give you twenty at any given time. Whereas a guy who's not who has had a slight decline in the season, but based on it, it's worked for the Knicks. They've I think they've won. I think they probably lost two or three games since acquiring OG, which isn't bad. That's actually not bad. The ratio behind that ain't, ain't bad at all. But once OG got traded, then Pascal was next up. I had no idea where exactly he was going to go. The One of the biggest um, teams he could have went to was the Golden State Warriors because that's all I really was seeing was that, oh, Pascal may go to Golden State to help them but I don't think I don't think that would have did anything for them maybe I don't know depending on who they would trade it for um for Pascal but now he's in Indiana who are at this point probably in the need of something because um Tyrese is out for the for I don't know how long I think yeah, I don't really know how long. I don't think I've ever even looked to see how long he would be out, but he's out for a while. So, with that, you kind of need something to help you. Pascal would be that that person. So, you would have... I don't know who starts in Indian. I think it's... I know it's Miles Turner. I think Obi, Obi Toppin was starting for them. Um... 
I know Benedict Matron comes off the bench. I think Buddy Hill does too. Yeah, Buddy Hill does as well. Um, does Naismith come off the bench or Naismith? I think Naismith may be starting. Um, and then there's um somebody else on top of the head. I can't even think of him. But now you got Pascal with Miles Turner. That's not a. That's probably a. Def, that's probably a good defensive front court right there. Not bad. I don't know if they'll start Obi now at the small forward or if they were. So I don't know if they were starting that man or not. <laughs> Truth be told. Um, hmm. But, you know, it definitely could work once Tyrese comes back. It definitely can work once Tyrese comes back. I think the Pacers would be all right. But again, they need to be healthy. I think that's the only thing is once they get Tyrese back, then they will be a hundred. Then they should be a hundred percent good, and then we'll see what they can do with everything. Because the Pacers were in pretty good position. The Pacers were having a pretty good season. I about to say until Tyrese got hurt, but I, I wouldn't say that. Uh, I don't know in Pascal. Well, this this deal got to get finalized first. But I don't know when Pascal will fully get um I don't know when he'll fully get traded. Hopefully within the hopefully before the week is over, Pascal gets traded and everything is finalized. So if that's the case, then he'll probably play next week for the team. Hopefully. Uh but yeah. This is a big this is a big trade. Toronto is trying to find some way to rebuild everything. They were solid they were solid since the old since the OG trade. So We'll see what, uh, well, this probably won't do much for them now. Maybe not. Um, you know, Scotty, Scotty Barnes having a hell of a season himself, you know. They, um, now they, anyone got Pascal Smart. Who would be the starting power forward then? Because it's been what? It was Yaka Pirtle, who's been hurt for a while. I actually don't know who the star center is off the top of the head. It was it was, it was supposed to be Yaka Pertle, Pascal Siakam, RJ Barrett, Scotty Barnes, and um Emmanuel Quickly, which isn't a bad five. That's actually a pretty good five. Which it's kind of weird how they are right now, but I guess we'll see what happens. Does Toronto play tonight? think they play tonight no i think they do i don't know i don't know i don't know but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens um again we won't really know the full thing the full experience until tyrese comes back to indiana when he's 100 percent healthy but this this may be i mean it might not be a solid trade for toronto toronto doesn't really <laughs> toronto didn't really get anything bad i mean they got bruce brown but if they, the question is, do they start Bruce Brown? That's that's kind of the thing. Because if you start Bruce Brown, then you have the opportunity to put Scotty at power forward because Scotty could play the four. So you put Scotty at the four and then put um, Bruce Brown at the shooting guard. Is is that what you do, or do you put Bruce on the bench? But they might do that. They might put Scotty at power forward and Bruce Brown at the shooting guard position. It's still without Yaka Pertle, though, still, as far as I know. So, again, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see what happens. You know, everything is uh, to be determined at this point. But it is what it is, man. It's a pretty short video. just want to get this out the way. But until then, it's been Rose. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. As always, uh, the Royal Rumble is next week. We have finally made it close to the Royal Rumble. But there might be a major bump in the road on the road to WrestleMania, but I'm waiting to figure out and find out what's happening. So once we get that tip of the information, then we will discuss some things. But it is what it is, man. So until next time, peace, love, one. You